Square Park scavengers hold a protest meeting because they say the weather is too cold for them to be put to work clearing the snow off the streets. But apparently they don't find it too cold to hang about, arguing with each other and shouting at the police. Eventually, when things show signs of getting rough, the law steps in, and then there's so much heat that the snow melts. Take that, you care. A mysterious landslide has done serious damage to the historic fortress of Buddha on the banks of the Danube. Great cracks have appeared in the stonework which will take months to repair, and the inhabitants of neighboring houses have been advised to move to safety. Boring has been started to try and solve the mystery, as it's thought that a possible underground accumulation of water may have been responsible for the earth movement, but so far there is no solution. A new craze is sweeping the American continent and bidding fair to draw vast audiences away from many an older established sport. It's basketball played indoors on wood, a game that is independent of the weather, fast and thrilling. has made her last voyage across the Atlantic and now no one knows what will happen to her. But though there's a certain sadness in saying farewell to these giant greyhounds of the ocean, there's also pride in the knowledge that Britain is looking forward and that soon new giants like the Queen Mary and her sister ship and maybe others will be taking the flag to the far corners of the earth and carrying on our supreme tradition of safety at sea. The latest news from the Northern Front indicates that Marshal Badoglio's 1st Army Corps continues its steady onward march towards the interior. For the past few days there has been no check to the Italian advance, and Ras Mulugeta's giant Abyssinian army reported a few days ago to be facing the Italian forces has either been swallowed up by an earthquake or decided that discretion is the better part of valour. Even official Addis Ababa no longer denies the important Italian advances, and Marshal Badoglio speaks of having reached the heights of Amba Alagi where the Italian expedition of 1895 was so terribly defeated. But today Italy marches on, and neither the rains, nor the mountains, nor the Abyssinian guerrilla warfare seem able to stop her. Almost within a stone's throw of the Pathy Gazette production headquarters, fire breaks out in a small block of flats. And before the firemen can even start tackling the blaze, four people have been burnt to death. The firefighters were there in record time, but once again it goes to prove that even the finest brigade in the world sometimes fails to save you. Prevention is better than cure. Take warning by the tragedy of others. Being a loyal sort of person, every year I put my faith on Oxford for the boat race. And every year they let me down. So now let's see what the Oxford women can do in the first ladies boat race against Cambridge. This is the first time that two crews have ever rowed a race side by side on the ices. Because the river is considered to be too narrow, the men always row behind each other but apparently the women know all about this business of keeping straight on small rivers. The only thing they don't know anything about is keeping straight on small bank balances. For a time the issue is in doubt and then Oxford go ahead and win by half a length, which is more than the men have been able to do for 12 years. Stand up and give the girls a cheer. <laughs> <laughs> 